All right. Let's hey, Kev. What's going on, Mike? So, we're down here in uh, Pensacola, Florida. It's still a little bit rainy. Right now, we're outside of Costello's Butcher Shop. They're not really just your everyday butcher shop. No, no. They've got everything from desserts. Saw some cannoli I think I might have to grab. There you go. Uh, sandwiches. They got some cuts of meat I've never heard of. Well, I thought I had seen all the different cuts of meat that there are. We're going to go inside and take a look. We're going to show you something you've probably never seen before either. Come on in with us. We'll be back. What do you think? This place is just amazing. We're inside Costello's Butcher Shop, Butcher and Deli, I should say, because it's not just your normal butcher shop. We look around here, we got fresh meats in the meat case. So we get the Wagyu's over here. The Wagyu is just a little upper level, more so than what the prime meats are. We have a good selection of wine. If you look over on the other side, we got a deli case over here. He help you out with the uh, Got your lunch meats, got your cold drinks, you got all kinds of different cheeses. I think you said there was like a hundred different kinds of cheeses. I think you said that the goal is to get to a hundred. The goal is a yeah. hundred, yeah. But I mean, I'm looking at here right now. There's a ton of different ones already. Yeah, there is. And we got local honey. That's always good to have local honey. We got some more exotic stuff over here too. We got a good selection of uh, some Cajun. We got some boudin, crawfish par, bacon wrapped jalapenos. Can I see a turducken over here? Yeah, there's a turducken in up here. We got turducken, we got some pies, sausages. Man, I'm looking. I'm looking forward to, uh, to hearing a little bit more about here. <laughs> you, you and me both. Let's we'll see if we can find Gary or Christy one. Get them out here. So here we are in Costello's. This is the owner, Darren. Darren Costello. It's good to meet you, sir. Nice Thank you, you for having us here. Absolutely. We uh, just kind of like to take a look around. I've been hearing some good things about coming out of this store. I love the place. The white, the black tile, the openness, and man, this store is just crammed full of stuff. Would you just kind of give us a tour? You know, what you got going on here? Fresh meats, delis? Sure, absolutely. Whole deal? I'd love to. I'm Darren Costello. This is Costello's Butcher Shop, Deli, Fine Wine and Cheeses. Otherwise, oh, on, otherwise known as Gary. Sounds good. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> so as we're walking around, I'll show you. We got a lot, a lot of bull, right? Which is on the shelves right here. This is one of our best top sellers. It goes well with just about anything. I like to use it on my tri-tip and hanger steaks and on my pork products. And I'll show you some of the pork products we're gonna be using it on. So as we come into the meat department, right down here is our meat case, and this is our tri-tip. I like to use a lot of bull on the tri-tip, we'll soon be that for a while. And as you should come down, you'll see we got bone-in ribeyes, tomahawks, regular ribeyes. We also carry a terrace made veal chops. And okay. we got our grinds. Can I ask a question real quick, sure. Darren? Tell me what the Terrace Major is. The Terrace Major is in the subscapula area. It's so like the second most tenderest part of the steer. It works within the chuck area, right? So it has a lot of marble. Okay. It gives you a lot of flavor, very tender. It's a well, well defined muscle. Very good. So it kind of it kind of looks like the tenderloin, kind of like the fillet part. That's correct. 
it's as tender as the filet when you move it up to prime. Okay. Right. So Very good. As, as you move up to prime, it's just as tender as a uh, upper two thirds choice. Okay. So you said subscapula. So that's under the shoulder. That's under the shoulder blade. That's correct. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Good. Then we can move over to the uh, chicken and pork section. So we carry a lot of our chickens. We do a lot of different stuff. You know, right here we have our stuffed chicken with jalapeno and cream cheese. Go ahead. This is our can can. I got, I got, it doesn't even look like any can can I've ever seen before. That's right. You it gotta, doesn't dance, it, I don't no, think. No, it? Well, I don't know. It could dance. <laughs> Oh, that's what a dance in pork. Let me what tell you. What in the world is this? This started in 1957 in Puerto Rico. Okay. And it's called Can Can, a chuleta Can Can. Um, it has the pork loin, as you can see. It comes so, around towards the ribs, then all the way around the belly. And what they'll do is you'll scar this all the way around. So you got your cracklings, you got your loin, and then you got your belly coming around. It's an, a phenomenal cut. Wow. You can roast this and then deep fry it. It so, works out really well, especially with Laudable. You throw Laudable on here, <laughs> phenomenal. Okay, so, man, this, this is the best of all worlds here. I mean, you got a pork chop right here. It's exactly. all in the pork chop. Yep. You got all this fat. You got the crackling up here that you're gonna, man. And I, belly? I, I just about gotta cook this now, you know. <laughs> man. It makes you hungry just Oh, it does, it, it does. does. Yeah. It does. I have never in my life seen one. Kevin, you ever seen one of these? No, this is the first time I've ever seen anything like that. And it's that. a can can. With a K. With a K, not a C. With a K. Wow. Here in the States, they'll probably wow. use the C. Over in Puerto Rico, can can with a K. Wow. That's a chuleta. 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 We're going to have to cook one of these. I think we might have to. Yeah, we yeah. are going to have to. And if you do cook them, try them with the. Uh, Bacon wrap, oh, jalapeno yeah. stuff, oh, cream yeah. cheese poppers. I love to do right? that. I love to do that. <laughs> we have seen something here today, folks, we've never seen before. A can can. Definitely. Well, I'm glad you got to see it today. I, yeah. I think we need to make it famous. I think so too. <laughs> I, think, I, I think that's in the plan. But I we think. can always have it with a nice bottle of wine. Because <laughs> at Costello's, we also carry a lot of fine wine. And we got a lot from Italy. We carry an Amarone, we carry a Barallo, we carry Vanillos, right? This is Frank's family from Napa, California. Also Pith and Kin. We have the Edge. These are all Cabernets. And then the Amarone and the Barallos are from Italy. Wow. All right? Then we carry our Wagyu and our Pot. We carry grades as far as eight plus on some of the ribeyes. We have, uh, our top sirloin, which is top sirloin wagyu, it's a phenomenal cut. And these are uh, six plus on the grating. We have different types of oils and vinegars. We have all our oils and vinegars made in Italy. How about that? Okay. That's cool. Here, here at Costello's. So do you run this by yourself? Absolutely not. The boss is right here. Oh, this is the owner, uh, sole proprietor. You guys are funny. The only <laughs> woman butcher shop in Pensacola. There you go. <laughs> there you go. This is my lovely wife, Kristen Costello. So we know who the real boss is. That's right. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the case in most things. So That's the boss. Yeah. Butcher. Yeah. Get him, coming in. Get him coming on. into the uh, meat prep area. This is Ron the Butcher. How you doing? Hey, Ron. Okay. We have a grinder in our saws or meat cutting areas. You can see we keep it as clean as possible. We've been cutting all day. All right. Ron's probably cut about 300 pounds of meat today. You can't tell you were cutting in there. No, you're not going to be able to tell. We've got our pork section and our meat section. That's awesome. Yep. This is Victoria. Hi. Hey. This is where we make our sandwiches and our deli. This is Jerry Mike. I am making the jalapeno dip. This is our manager in the deli. He runs everything. To go, to go into the pepper. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Works out well. Works out good. So, as you can see, he keeps everything spotless. Mid afternoon, we still got about four or five hours left before we shut down, but it looks like it's brand new every day. It's all wow. about being clean, safe. So, you didn't do this just for us? Yeah. 
You didn't do this just because we were coming. Absolutely not. This is the way it runs. <laughs> do this for you and everyone else. <laughs> there we go. There you go. That's it. So we ended up cutting a hole in the wall. All right. We did the plumbing and everything so we can get to the back door. Oh, there we go. All right. So I had to get to it before. They had to walk all the way around. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's our delivery area. That's it. Back up towards the front. So we've been around, we've seen everything. Awesome place. Um, all the, the different cuts that you've had, the beef, the chicken, the pork. What are the different brands that y'all carry here? Well, here at Costello's, we carry a couple different brands. One of them is certified Angus beef, your Black Angus, your Scotland Angus, <laughs> and then we got Hereford, which is from Herefordshire, England. And that's your big red Angus. And that was founded in 1742. And it came over here through Congressman Clay through Kentucky in 1817. Um, and it joined up with the Cattlemen's Association, I believe it was in 1881. Very cool. Yeah. So, so wait a minute, Herefordshire, that's, that's our Hereford that we have today. That's correct. Okay. Hereford is from Herefordshire, England. It's your Red Angus. Like I said, it was uh, founded in 1742, came to the States through Kentucky uh, in 1718. Huh. And then it joined the Cattlemen's Association in 1881. That's why Hereford has their top, uh, not like prime, but their top choice is 1881. Okay, so the higher end is the 1881. That's, that's, that's their branding. Yep. Okay. That's easy to remember. Yeah, absolutely. This, this is so this is so cool to be able to do this. We go to a lot of different places and they and they're always, you know, touting brand names and stuff and yes, you never get a history behind it and that's what we're that's loving what right here. Trying, like, you got a lot of customers coming here and don't know what don't know what they're buying and they don't feel comfortable, feel intimidated. So I try to explain to them what they're buying, what right. they, how to cook it so yeah. they feel comfortable with what they're buying. Yeah. So it's not just like we got meats out here. Yeah, you yeah, can get that. It'll be yeah. good. I won't try to push anything on them. I, if they don't want a certain cut, I'm not going to push the higher end on them. I'll tell them you know, what's, what's good for them. And, and you probably ask them, what are you doing with it? That's exactly like, like, how do you want your steak? You want it medium well? You want it um, medium rare well? That way I can determine how thick the steak they want. Yeah. Like and, I had a couple come in and uh, he wanted his medium and she wanted hers well done. So I cut hers at three quarters. I cut his an inch, an inch and a quarter. That way they can both cook, cook it at the same time and it'll be done at the same time. So you also do a custom cut for a customer yes, if it I comes in cut, here. I can cut anything How anymore. awesome is that? It's awesome. We just got meat out here to show them what we have, but I can cut anything what they want from a quarter so, inch steak to a five inch steak. So if someone doesn't see what they have out here, always ask. I'll always ask and I'll cut anything on the band for them. Nice. Wow. Yes, sir. Yeah, you know, I don't I don't think I've ever talked to a guy in a meat shop or a butcher that that had offered to cut Two different steak mm -hmm. because the man and the wife wanted them. Matter of fact, she wanted grass fed. He wanted the grass fed ribeye. She wanted the grass fed strip. Really? Both of them wanted each one. Huh. That is awesome. Yep. That is awesome. That is cool. Yes. You got to make them happy because you know customers what pays bills. Right? Yeah, that's, right. that, that's your life blood. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is. It yeah. is. Well, thank you so much. No yeah, problem. it's been a pleasure. Thank you, sir. Thank you for all your no wealth no of problem. information no that you have. Guys, I gotta tell you, this Costello's is just amazing here. Like I said, you know, you got fresh meat, you got deli, you got a full service butcher shop in the back back here. All the things that they got going on here. Costello's meats and butcher and deli, Pensacola, Florida, you gotta come see it. Thanks for checking us out today on Meat Revival. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you can get all the latest updates. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. We'll see you next time.